Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe. Uh, and also click the notification bell so you'll be notified the minute I post another video. Uh, today is Thursday, October the 7th, and our devotion is entitled, You Will Not Faint. Let's hear a prophetic word. It is never a time to call it quits with your faith. Yes, there will be times to reassess your battle plan in prayer, but there is never a time to retreat, says God. Stay with the things you have set your hand to this day and determine in your heart you will never faint. Our scripture comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. We are going to have adversity, but thankfully it's not out of our own strength that we persevere. It is through the strength of the Lord. I thank God for it every day because Lord knows I couldn't do it. Let's hear how Brenda expounds on this. <clears throat> Some battles take longer to overcome than others. It's the ones that take longer to reach victory that tempt you to give up in your stance of faith. Just because a doubtful thought arises in your mind does not mean you have fainted. Many people in scripture had momentary doubts, but still experienced the greatest miracles because they pressed on in faith. Mark eleven twenty three says that if you tell mountains to be removed and don't doubt in your heart, it will happen. Doubtful thoughts are not doubt from the heart. You can take control of simple thoughts and redirect them back to the word of God where they can't take root in your heart. Just because you had a bad day or felt discouraged in your faith does not mean that you have fainted. Doubt in your heart begins when you start verbalizing fears and doubts to the point that they form your mindset. Okay. Faith comes by hearing. What you speak out is what you begin to believe. So when you're verbalizing fears and doubts, guess what your heart starts to believe? And out of the, the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. So we as a people of God, as, as people of faith, instead of verbalizing those fears, if we verbalize a fear, Lord, this is bothering me, we can use the word of God to counteract that fear because God is faithful. He cannot lie. What did he say? He says to us like 365 times, do not fear. Fear doesn't come from the Lord. He gives us power, love, and a sound mind. Fear comes from the father of lies. It's from Satan. Okay, God didn't give that to us. So if it's not from the Lord, we, we know. who. What, why should we be afraid of what man can do? Because God is bigger. If God's for me, who could be against me? That's what the word says. People who faint always talk about it first and usually quite often. All right. Some even become resistant to those who try to encourage them to hang in there. So when you have somebody, a brother or sister in Christ, who's really trying to lift you up and you keep coming back with the put downs, the put downs, the negative, the negative, the negative, you've already given root to doubts. And guess what? When you doubt, you receive nothing. That's what the word of God says. So the fears and doubts is the thief at work, the devil. He comes, his mission is to steal, kill, and destroy. If he knows when we doubt, we receive nothing, and he's getting your fears to stir up doubts, he's in the process of robbing you of an answer to prayer. It's almost like the thief is broken into your home, standing there, and then you start handing him your things while he puts it into the back of his truck. You're helping him. You're helping him when you verbalize those things. Now, I'm not, I'm not into denying reality, okay? You go to the doctor. <coughs> Excuse me. You go to the doctor and you get a bad diagnosis. I am not into acknowledging your diagnosis, okay? I, I, I think that's foolishness. I think it's stupid. Giving that diagnosis power over your belief systems to say that God is not powerful enough to destroy that disease, putting all your faith in man-made medicine. God uses medicine, no doubt. Uh, there's no doubt. 
But I know that God does miracles. And when you get to a place where you, you have no belief that God can take care of that for you, that it's only going to take a one second miracle to be healed. So I don't have to go through a process of healing or, or treatments or anything. Okay. That's not strong faith. That's saying, I want it now. I want it now. Instead of allowing God to take you through the process. Okay. Sometimes he does instantaneous miracles, but most of us want our miracle in three seconds or God doesn't exist or God's not going to answer. That's really kind of an immature Christian attitude. Don't you think that's what a, a small child wants? I want it right now and I don't want to wait. Okay. Well, sometimes it involves a wait and this is where we need to persevere and not faint not allow the devil to destroy and rob from us what God wants to give us. And it, it doesn't happen. I've had things happen to me immediately. I've had instantaneous healings and I love it. I wish that that was always the case. Other times it runs its course and God does what he does. Our bodies are miracles. Our immune systems are miracles. <laughs> okay, <laughs> We're fearfully and wonderfully made. That's what the word says. Okay, don't quit on the things that you are praying for today. Don't quit. Don't quit and don't doubt. Sure, it's okay to go to God and reassess your battle plan, but the key is to stay in there with the Lord and you will not faint. I always say to the Lord, I don't understand your timing on this, Lord, but I trust you because I know you can't lie. I know you're going to do it. I don't understand when. I don't understand why there's a delay. But I know you're going to do it and you're going to strengthen me with everything that I need to stay the course. And I have peace. God says when we keep our mind focused on him, we have perfect peace. So I know I'm a little bit passionate today. Sorry about that. I can really let my, my feelings and my emotions run away with me. But I feel so strongly about this because I hate that the devil steals from us. Because our flesh gets uncomfortable we allow the thief to come in and steal from us. <clears throat> I just, I, I get very mad with the devil and I get very passionate about it because he, we've all fallen prey to it. I've fallen prey to it myself. <coughs> I speak healing right now to my respiratory system in Jesus name. Allergies. That's what it is. All right, let's pray the prayer. Father, I will not faint on the things I am praying for today. I refuse to give in to any doubtful thoughts. And I tell my mind to focus on God's word and his promises in Jesus name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you for sticking with me and through my impassioned, <laughs> my impassioned devotion today. I hope it's encouraged you. I hope it's helped you to see where the devil is trying to do his work in your life to bring destruction and to bring a downer to your life. Stand firm on God's word because he is faithful. He cannot lie. If he said it, he will do it. And then we just stay the course. Trust God in his timing. All right. Make sure you like and subscribe and ring the note uh, and click the notification bell. Thank you for spending your day with me, a little bit of your day with me. God bless you and bye until next time.